Hello and welcome to Cookie and the Haydens and I'm Carboot Chris and today we're at Bampton Jumble Trail and I'm going to say welcome to Devon I think this is an appropriate image to welcome you to Devon um, nothing to see here at all other than a sheep out for a walk hmm here we go it's going to be one of them videos So we are in North Devon, um, right on the border with Somerset. Um, it's Bampton, a very small little village, um, perfect for a jumble trail because you can almost park your car up and just go and have a good old wander round. I'm literally walking around somebody's garage here where they've set up due to the Devon microclimates um, in force at the moment. Um, we had a really weird day to, on this day of pouring down with rain. It would stop immediately, just like you see in Back to the Future when the rain stops in uh, Back to the Future 2, and then it becomes sunny. And that is pretty much how this day went. Um, we got soaked and then we were boiling. So a lot of people on the Jumble Trail found ways to keep their stalls dry either in little alleyways just out in their doorway or in their garage so there's cookie and annabelle there and cookie is leading the way here dying to get to the next stall she is loving this this is the walk of her life She won't. I would actually say it's not great when you take your dog out on a jumble trail. Um, it's a bit of a nightmare, to be honest with you. You're trying to look, you've got the dog pulling. Um, Hi. Yeah, Hello. bit of a nightmare. Good, thanks. Hello. It's all a bit messy. Yeah, what about that, huh? <laughs> Last minute out of the rain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, got people down there covering it up, uncovering it. I know, I know it's, it's a nightmare. Such a shame because we couldn't put it down there and lay it out properly. It looks so much nicer, doesn't it? We opted for walking instead of driving around that hill, it's just killed me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big one. <laughs> I, did, I heard somebody, somebody go, oh, it was cute there, but I think I'll So, as we're about to walk over to the next house, you're going to see Batman and Robin there sat on a scooter on the driveway. Um, yeah, we brought your sheep, and now it's Batman and Robin. It doesn't get any stranger. My husband used to have um, an antique shop. Oh, right. So that's just the leftovers from the shop. <laughs> How much is that? It's oh, he's got, here. is it from here? Yeah. 20p. I really like that medallion um, from New York. And we'll see it a bit close up later on in the video when we do the haul so stay tuned for that sorry by the way just so you know batman and robin on the scooter was part of the scarecrow trail that was going on uh, at the moment in this uh, village they seem to happen fairly regularly across uh, sort of devon we've seen quite a few of the scare scarecrow uh, trails Thank you. It would be, it would she just said then we would like yeah. to put it further down. Oh, I spread it a, a little, I had a little bit further up the drive. Well, then I had to, especially the clothes. I mean, that's leather, that's leather. So do you like my scarecrow? Yeah, it's I great. Think it's really good. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, I like Robin best. Oh, it's <laughs> so good to, to be part of the, this community. Um, events. It is in Dwarf I mean, there's one kind of like that near us, isn't there, Bob? Yeah. I've heard not as many. We have the map there, but Michael, 
it is not well today so we, we're planning to do the trail and have a look around we need to leave leave socks our dog at home because <laughs> it, 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 on the leave it gets really stressed yeah. so well that's why she's got a face thing on or else mm -hmm. i end up with no arm how much it is um I, I, it's marked on 10. Oh, those 10. are new mm. Is that your best price on them? Or? Pardon? Is that your best price on them? Um, I think five or one. I, I'll take I them, yeah. I just don't want to look at them because I spend the money and then it's gone, uh, yeah. I, I'm so afraid of breaking my legs. <laughs> oh, right. So that was a nice pair of roller boots there that we picked up from that lady. Um, and we've spotted some caps here. Uh, I do like picking up caps. Um, I'm not sure if it's a fetish thing, but um, I do quite like picking them up. I don't know why. Uh, I can't explain it. But some nice ones here. And a pound each. Well, you can't grumble really at that. I'll take those two, please. Two pound, please. Oh, don't worry about that. Another um, stall that has gone indoors to escape the rain. Um, all kinds of bric-a-brac. I'm not sure if it was a charity um, related stall or not. I can't remember. They might have had a sign up. Oh, hey, up. Chris's mind's in the gutter again. The Wicked Willy game. I didn't buy it. But uh, I'm sure you wouldn't have been surprised if I had buy it. Oh, here's a film recommendation for you based on that. I've just, just come into my head then when I saw it. Uh, Flesh Gordon. I mean, I might be bang out of order here recommending you to watch this film. But if you're an adult... Watch Flesh Gordon. I've spotted a teapot. Did you spot it like me? I do quite like picking up unusual teapots. And this was really nice. How much is that one? You do? Rick Edwards. Yeah, How much is that? Rachel. Rachel. Rachel, you're on the. That is not for sale. How much is it? Um, four pounds. Four. Oh. Oh, it's a very fine case. Yeah, it's a. Oh, it's a little cheap. Oh, right. That's that's Brenda. Yeah. Different, isn't it? Yes. There was an advert. No. Sometimes I really do funny about when buying something. Mm. I've clearly got the cogs going round in my brain now thinking, is it worth that or not? Shall I make them on offer? I don't know. I don't know what to offer them. They're a charity. Should I just Take pay the price? Okay. But yeah, a bit of fannying about going on. You saw Lots of toys on this stall. There was some Playmobil stuff. I did check the prices afterwards on some of this, but um, yeah, not. Uh, I didn't fancy it really. There's a play set here that I was interested in. Thunderbirds. I didn't know much else about it. Okay. It was only £2. It's worth a punt. Bit of bag action going on there. And yeah, we're on to the next stall. And um, yeah, we've got 
some kind of transformer in my hand here. Might come back to that later. Don't forget to stay tuned after the walkabout. Uh, we'll do the full haul because because of the Devon microclimates, I had to keep turning my camera on and off. I didn't get all the footage that I wanted to get. So you're not seeing half of the things that I bought. I bought quite a lot of stuff actually, including a load of Formula One gear. Um, some really nice items, which I didn't get on camera due to the weather. So yeah, just stay tuned um, to see the whole lot afterwards. I've got some Pokemon videos here. Some VHSs. How much are they? It's just, they're just donations. Oh, so right. Whatever. Okay. Sorry, she only wanted to say I don't really it. seem to find much that's of any great value with VHS yeah. tapes. And uh, today is probably no exception either, to be honest with you. Um, I got these because they were Pokemon. You never know this kind of thing if it's going to have some decent value. So just as we're about to walk away from this stall, after we've paid of course, um, Annabelle spots something there, Gargantis, and I'm going to cut it. I had to cut there because I decided to turn my camera off to check that Gargantis uh, out on eBay just to see what the prices were like. It was a, a Bandai made toy, Beetleborg Gargantis. So I thought it was interesting, but obviously I didn't capture the whole thing, but props to Annabelle, she saw that one. What we've got here is a little bit of clothing, a couple of clothing items. That's five and four. And also I'm looking at these penguin chrome things corkscrew and some wine stoppers, wine bottle stoppers, uh, in the shape of a penguin. So more penguin stuff. On, Thankfully not penguin gate this time. 13, yeah. You got a change at all? Got a 20. So here we are back to um, the sheep on a lead. <laughs> Thought I'd give it a little stroke. What's she called? Chops. Chops. <laughs> How cruel. They called the sheep Chopsy. Oh dear. Poor thing. So don't forget, guys, please go over and subscribe to my new YouTube channel. It's called Movie Fusion Retro Rewind. It's all about films, obviously. Um, and just to finish up, scenes as we've had sheep in this video i've bought penguin stuff i'm going to recommend to you um we bought a zoo with matt damon it's a great film really heartwarming and um i i've watched it a few times i love watching it so go watch we bought a zoo get the camera so we're back from the jumble trail over at bampton in north devon it's quite a trek from here wouldn't normally go that far, it's probably about an hour and 20 minutes. But we were going for a day out anyway, we wanted to have a bit of a drive out. Uh, we saw that that was on, so we went up there and we had a nice uh, little walk round. So, a couple of caps, I do like buying caps. Um, there's two here, unconnected. Uh, one is, this is a nice one, this is real nice. It's Atlanta 96 uh, Olympic Games cap. Uh, this costs one pound and the prices on these vary, but I'm going to say 20 to 25 pound back on that one. Um, now this one is a Washington DC, just a standard sort of cap. Um, that again was one pound. So I'm thinking 10 to 15. I've not looked that one up yet, but if I had to guess, I would say 10 to 15 pound. So a couple of bits of clothing. Um, this one is an Under Armour fleece top. And the, the unusual thing about this is it's a Storm. Um, it's the Storm brand of Under Armour and it's water resistant. It just doesn't feel like it would be water resistant. 
but it's really nice. I paid four pound for it. I'm thinking this could be worth around 30. I also got this Kangol Gilet vest, um, body warmer, brand new with tags. Now I paid a fiver for it. I might have paid too much. Um, I struggled to find the exact same one, but I'm thinking 20 to 25 pound on it from uh, five pounds. So not amazing markup, but yeah, 20, 25 maybe. So I've got four Pokemon VHS tapes. Uh, there's Pikachu's Win Winter Vacation, uh, Pokemon the First Movie, Pokemon the Movie 2000, Pokemon the Movie 3. Not, mu not worth much really these. Um, I paid I think a pound for these. Uh, oh no, five VHS, two pound because we've got another one here. So uh, let's say a pound for those four, which I don't think they're going to be worth much. So um, maybe 10 to 15 if I'm lucky. Also in that lot, um, we'll say this was a pound just for argument's sake. Um, Space Jam, Stars of Space Jam, Tasmanian Devil. These ones go for a little bit more. And if you look at solds, most of the solds are from abroad, right from the USA, and they're going for good money. There's a couple of listed in the UK, um, but I'm not as much. So I'm not sure. I might get a tenner out of that. So also I picked up this play set. It's a Thunderbirds play set. Now it opens up somehow. I've got to play with it myself and try and figure out how this thing opens up and what you do with it. You know, how it sets up. Is it complete? I don't know. Um, it was only £2, so I think I was safe in having a go at it. Price-wise, I don't know the price of it. It's made by Bandai. I think it's got 2004 on it. So there's all kinds of interactive elements to it. So I need to really do some research on this one. Um, let me know what you think of that, if you know exactly what that is, uh, what model it is or anything like that. Uh, but two quid, there's got to be money in it. Right, so let's stay with the theme of toys and retro sort of toys. And there's this Beetleborgs Gargantis. It's boxed. It's a bit battered. There's sort of some damage here. Um, Gargantis, the mobile attack carrier. It's made by Bandai again, so it's great to pick up stuff um, like that. Now, I don't know if this is complete. It was only £2, so I wasn't going to stand there and start checking it all out because even if it's not complete at £2, it's probably going to be it's probably going to be worth it for somebody. I'm going to make some money on this. It's got the spaceship. It's got this beetly thing. Christ only knows. Annabelle spotted it. I didn't even see it. I walked straight past it which is pretty typical of me, to be honest with you, considering I'm a uh, picker, thrifter or whatever. Sometimes I miss the most glaringly obvious things. Uh, this is, an, is a nice looking thing. 1996 Bandai. I'm not convinced everything is here because it looks, it looks like, you know, there should be some parts to it or something. So I'm gonna do some checking. If it's all here, it could be sort of 40 plus pound from two pound. And if it's not all here, then obviously less than that. Um, either way, at two pound, this Gargantis is going to make me some money. I'm fairly sure of it. So sometimes I like picking up these ceramic items and um, especially ones that look unusual. This is a London Journeys teapot bus or bus teapot whatever way you want to say it I think it's brand new well not brand new but never been used so probably displayed it's still got its tag on the bottom London pottery memories of London collection um it cost me um what did I pay for this three pound was it 
three pound fifty it cost me, and yeah, it's going to be worth hopefully twenty to twenty five pound. I'm going to aim for with that. That's what I'm going to list it for. But it's a real nice teapot that I picked up now. You know I'm sort of building this zoo with tigers and penguins and all sorts. I picked up a couple of penguin um, chrome items. Um, and it just caught my eye, obviously, because we've had the whole penguin gate thing in the past. And uh, I just thought, you know what? I quite like this penguin uh, stuff. And I've sold penguin chrome items before and done, done all right with it, but... These might not be worth much, and I probably paid too much for them. They were £2 each. That one's a corkscrew. These are bottle stoppers. I'm thinking I'll probably bundle it together, sell the two together. So it's like a combined £4. I'm not going to make much money. I think they're probably only worth about 15 together. I also saw this. Um, well, Annabelle saw it first. She was like, is that a Transformer? And I'm thinking... I ain't never seen an elephant transformer, but I'm not like, I mean, I like transformers, but I'm not n massively knowledgeable on them. Uh, and now I know a few people who are, and if you're watching, you'll know as well. Um, you'll probably know more than me. This could actually be damaged, but I'm not sure. Um, you'll know more than me. It's an elephant transformer. I did look it up before, but for the life of me, I've forgotten the name of the thing. 1996 Hasbro. So there you go anyway. Um, I did look it up. I've forgotten the friggin' name. It's probably like Elephantis or something. No, I just made that up. Um, but yeah, I paid uh, a pound for it. Uh, could be worth 15 to 20 looking at sort of solds. A nice pair of roller boots. I like picking them up when they're in good condition, obviously. And these look like they've never actually been rolled or worn. Um, they're a bit dusty, so I need to wipe them down. But these are Vipers. Um, it's actually had a £10, £10 price tag on them. I asked her if she'd be able to do any better on the price. And she went straight to £5. So I easily picked these up at £5. Uh, nice buy. They're nice items. Um, it could be worth sort of around £35, those, uh, looking at solds. So that's a, nice, uh, that's a nice purchase. Now, here's something really unusual. It was 20p. So I just bought it because I liked it. It's got a bit of, you know, I've been to New York myself. So I love New York. Um, not saying that I'm going to keep it, but I just thought at 20p, I'm going to enjoy sort of trying to track this down. It's a neck chain. Now, the chain itself has gone a bit rusty. So there's certainly, you know, it's not a quality chain or anything. It's just like stainless steel. But it's the medallion on the end that I really liked. Um, now, whether we're going to, I don't think we're going to be able to get that properly on camera. But that side is the Statue of Liberty. Can we see that if I just twizz it around a bit there? And the other side is the Empire State Building. So a souvenir, I expect. A tourist souvenir from New York. I just thought it was really nice. 20p, it was just in a little jewellery box. 20p. I'm just going to enjoy sort of having a look to see if I can find any information on that uh, but yeah no idea on price to be honest let me know if you think you know about that I'd be really impressed if any of you actually know what the hell that thing is or what it's worth is now I keep picking up more electronics and I spotted this it had a label of £10 on it it's a Panasonic hard drive recorder and free view box all in one um, Fully working, apparently. I haven't tested it myself yet, but he said that he'd been playing with it the day before. So, trustworthy guy, I'm sure. I'm hoping it's all in order. It's Panasonic model number DMR-HW100 uh, HDD recorder. Not sure what the size of the hard drive is at the moment. Um, comes with the remote and the leads and stuff. 
nice condition. Now the solds and listeds on this are all over the place. Um, so it's going to be a case of once I've cleaned it up and tested it, I will just sort of probably go somewhere in the middle um, of the prices. So at the moment they're being listed and sold for anywhere between £50 and £100. So I'll probably aim somewhere in the middle there. It cost me 10. So if I was to say 70 to 80, that's probably where I'll end up. Now, I also bought a box of rubbers. Yes, you heard that right, a box of rubbers. Not the rubbers you're thinking of, you dirty buggers. Look at these, a box of rubber bands. So um, yeah, well, you wouldn't put it past me, would you, after all the recent sort of videos we've, we've been doing, the sort of the Tiger King, the uh what do you call it the adult videos but no just i ran out of rubber bands that was a quid so i'll have that i'll put that on the shelf there the last lot that i'm going to show you was a big job lot of um some motorsport and formula one um gear a guy had a load of stuff um really interesting i bought a lot of what he had i didn't buy everything um, I'll show you what it is now. I have not researched this at all. All I'm going to say to you is I paid a total of £48 for all the stuff that I'm about to show you. So let's go through it all. I've got some caps, which I like. Unfortunately, they're a bit squished, so I'm going to have to try and get them back into shape. There's a Power Tour British Motorsport Series. So they're, they're actually still got their little tags on. Powertour.co.uk. So there's one. These are all, the, most of these are the same. Two, three, four. Is that all of them? So there's four of that design. And there's three of this BGP Silverstone cap. BGP 2001. So there's three of those. Um, Individually, they actually worked out around £1 each. Again, I don't know the price of them, unfortunately. I haven't had the chance because a lot of this Formula One motorsport stuff needs a bit of research. Um, I got some, I got this Vauxhall Motorsport, uh, what do you call it? Polo shirt. So they worked out at, um, by the time you bundle everything, sort of a couple of pound less than two pound each some ladies motorsport tops uh, this is a bmw's uh bmw williams formula one team xl i think it's ladies still in bag i mean i'm gonna have to probably take them out of the bags just to photograph them but i'll try and get them back in there's another one just a different color and here's another one which is wrc uh, World Rally Champ, Mud, Sweat and Tears, Official Merchandise, Ladies again. So they worked out less than £2 each. Uh, what else did I get? And also I picked up... Oh, God. <clears throat> Three little mini cars. These are British Grand Prix 2001, the same as the caps. Little Formula One model cars. Oh, it's got a barcode on the back, which, which might prove useful. Uh, it's a 2001 British Grand Prix commemorative event car. Now, are they, all these the same? I actually didn't look at that. I just, I just got them as part of a bundle. I'm thinking all three the same. Yes. So I've got three of those. They were four pound each. Might have paid too much, but. Probably not. I think they'll be okay at four pound each. Um, I got this um, car. It's a McLaren collection model car. Now this might be hard for you to see. Can you see there? It stayed in its box. It's a little bit dusty. I need to. I need to have a clean up on it. But it's quite a nice. Big sort of car, no idea on the value, but um, you know, by the time you bundle it up, you're not paying sort of. I probably paid 
what about, I don't know, six, seven pound each on these. This one is an Audi R8R Le Mans 1999 car. I bought them on a complete whim. We did a deal. This one's a Williams F1 team. Uh, again, boxed up, nice condition. Just needs a wipe down because it's obviously been on a shelf for a while. Uh, yeah, so for all that stuff, so I've got the seven caps, three mini cars, four t-shirts, and the three big cars are paid £48. Um, so there's going to be good money in that. I just don't know the exact value of that stuff. So that's the Bampton Jumble Trail haul. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I think there's some good money here. Let me know any comments or any thoughts. Please feel free to make a comment and don't forget to hit the like. So we'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye now.